Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I have a gorgeous card to show you. Now, I've showed you a card using letters before. Let me grab that quick. Here's my hello card and I did have a video for this. And I am showing you another card using the large letter framelits because I found a much easier way and a little bit more spectacular way to do this technique. This is called the eclipse technique. They're calling it the eclipse technique because the lettering eclipsed the image on the background. And an eclipse is like an exact matchup of moon over sun or image over image. I hope that makes sense. I had one of my customers explain that to me because I am so not sciency. Is that a word? I'm making it a word. I am not sciency. So I had to ask her a couple times, will you explain that to me again? And then I got it. So eclipse technique, cool, cool. The one thing that I really like about this is we're using a dark background behind our letters so you get that shadow effect. I hope you can see that in the video here. It's very cool. So let's get started and I'll show you how simple this one is compared to the other one that I made. The first thing I'm going to do here is we're going to do our stamping of the flowers. And I'm using crushed curry whoops, ink and guess what? Kelly already stuck her finger in an ink pad. I'm really good at that. Like, I should get a medal for getting messy because I, it's pretty simple for me. Okay, I am bringing in the Painted Harvest stamp set. You guys have seen this a bunch of times from me. It is a gorgeous stamp set. I've had a lot of customers say to me after they've made the card, because we got to make this at my Technique Tuesday, and they said, I wasn't going to get that set. And I said, oh, you're going to get it when we're done here. <laughs> and they pretty much did. It is a fabulous stamp set. So in this stamp set, you have a small flower and a larger flower. The larger flower is your background. The smaller one is your detail. So I'm going to ink up the larger flower. And I'm just going to stamp this. And I want you to see something because people are thinking something's wrong with their stamp. This is a watercolor image. And so it is the color is going to be kind of variegated. And you're going to see that this is very pale here. People are thinking, oh my gosh, something's wrong with my stamp. There is nothing wrong with it. Don't worry about that. Um, I do recommend that you use the paper piercing pad, this little jewel. And I'll put the item code up on the screen. Um, this will make your images stamp better. So I've inked up again, and now I'm just going to take this and turn it and stamp it again. And I'm gonna do that one more time. And I showed you this technique on another card that I made. I like to do it three times because I like these little wispy edges on my sunflower. Now you're gonna come in with the Cajun Craze, and we are going to stamp that right over top. And isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I've showed you this before. So I'm just gonna quick stamp up this other flower because we've got two on the front. And then we'll get to the eclipse technique. And again, I'm just turning this, stamping three different times to get that wispiness. And there we go. And as long as I'm making a card here, <laughs> I might as well make the complete thing, right? I've got chocolate chip and I'm going to stamp the words I am thankful for you right down there. Great. I just wrecked my card. Do you see what I did? It didn't stamp all the way. Hang tight. This is why I have a stamp a jig because I would have to start all over here and instead I'm going to use my imaging sheet and my stamp a jig handle. And yes, we still sell these. I will make sure that you have the um, item code for this. This saves your butt, which is what I'm doing here. So I've stamped my stamp on the imaging sheet. Now I'm going to bring the imaging sheet in and I'm going to match it up over the greeting that I just messed up. Make sure that you've got it right on there perfectly. And I think I have it positioned properly. I'm going to bring my handle back in. I'm going to take the imaging sheet out ink up my words again 
and I'm going to stamp that again and I got it pretty darn good. That's how you can save your cards when you have a little accident like I just had. And then you don't have to cry because there's no crying in stamping people. <laughs> okay, here comes our circles in the middle and I'm just using the chocolate chip ink again. And then I'm going to come in with the little dots and put those right in the middle of my flowers. Okay, we're ready to do the eclipse technique. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. Now, I am using the large letter framelits. And you get an entire alphabet with some cool little symbols in there. Um, there's an and sign in here. And people think that these are only for scrapbooking. Here's that and sign that's so cool. A question mark, we've got all equals, exclamation point. This is an amazing die set. I am so glad that I purchased it. It's expensive, but it's worth having because you can keep it forever. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to bring in my letters fall. And I'm just gonna do a dry fit here. You guys know that I like to do a dry fit on stuff to make sure I know what I'm doing <laughs> because we do need to know what we're doing and there's a lot of pressure being on camera right no there really isn't videos are pretty easy to make after you make a lot of them no I shouldn't say that they're not easy to make they're time-consuming it takes a lot of time to do editing and loading and all that so here's my fall I'm gonna run this through my big shot oh did you notice I have two L's you know why I have two L's does the set come with two L's no it does not I have connections, people. Connections are good. <laughs> I borrowed an L from somebody. I'm going to run this over to my big shot, and I will be right back. Okay, here we go. Out pop our letters. You want to save the middle of your A if you're using the word fall. Now there's lots of four or five, well you can't really do five letter words with this, but lots of four letter words like hugs, love, this would be great for a wedding card, wouldn't it? And then there's some words you could combine with a stamp set that says, like if you had a stamp, a word that said you, you could stamp that and then you could do the letters in rock, that's cool. Home and you know, if somebody's you know, got a new home, you could do that. And then, like I said, make sure you save the inside of your A. You're going to need that. And then these will just pop right out. Oh my gosh, I just love that color combination. I'm stuck on it. You know how sometimes you get stuck on stuff? Well, I'm stuck on it. All right, card base is Cajun Craze. And I think you guys will be pretty happy. I got a new bone folder that doesn't have ink all over it. Ta-da! How fun is that? And then we're going to come in here. I'm going to just move this off to the side, maybe. Here we go. Oh, I left my glue open, which means it's probably not going to come out very good. Let's see. You ever do that? Leave, yep. Yeah. Hang on. Poke it out. Poke out the glue. There we go. So I have a upholstery pin, I think is what it is, to poke out my glue hole when I need to. Now, I'm just going to put glue around here, and you know, I don't use a lot of glue. Then I'm going to put a little glue on these pieces of the letters that are kind of, you know, sticking out there. Okay. This is, technique is best when put on a dark background, so you want to make sure that your letters are going to pop. So you want that dark background behind it. Okay, gorgeous, right? Now, here's the ticket. If you come in and use the um, foam adhesive strips, these are great for making shaker cards. They are a little bit taller than dimensionals, and that's why I'm using them, because it's going to raise these letters up taller than a dimensional would. And they're nice and thin, so they fit on here really nice. And you're just going to take some of these, and I'm just going to cut some pieces off because they're easier to deal with when they're a little bit smaller. And you're just going to put them on your letters. So, should I say I'll be back in a minute, or should I just keep rambling? What can I tell you? Hmm. Let's see. Did you guys see my video last 
Friday with um, Bailey. She's one of my little bear hunting friends. And she's 12 years old. She did my last week Friday video because she wanted to do a video with me. She's super cute and she loves to stamp. And then I gave her a bunch, a bunch. I gave her three paper pumpkin kits that I had. And she promptly went into the bear hunting garage that we all hang around in and started making cards with them. And then one of the ladies at bear camp said, hey, Bailey, or actually she said, hey, Kelly, do you have any birthday cards? Because one of the gals had a birthday and they were coming to bear camp that night and she wanted to give her a card. And I said, oh, I just took my bag out of my truck so I could come bear hunting. So I don't have any cards with me, which is just unheard of, right? And um, then I said, hang on a second. I went in the garage and asked Bailey if she had any stamp sets in those paper pumpkin kits that had happy birthday in them. And lo and behold, she did. And she made Kelsey the cutest birthday card. So paper pumpkin kit. If you don't subscribe to paper pumpkin, I highly recommend it. We are having a blast with that kit. Okay, now we're ready to roll here. We are going to pick off the backing on our adhesive foam adhesive strips. I'm going to make a big mess here with little backing things and we're going to set these right back in place. Just meh, stuck to my finger. Just like that. And isn't that beautiful? You can still see the um, Cajun craze under there. I want to call this really rust because we used to have a color called really rust. And it's pretty similar to this one, but we don't carry that anymore. I think this one is a little deeper, which I really like. It's pretty. But you can really see that popping out from under these letters. My fingernails are not in good shape right now, so I'm having kind of a hard time here. So I'm going to show you this letter, and then I'm going to show you what I did with the little piece of A that I told you not to lose. Okay, there's the little A. Because this is going to look goofy if we don't put this back in here, right? So I'm going to put this back in there. Just a tiny bit of glue on there. Kind of. I should use tweezers. If you have tweezers, that would be a good idea. Oops, where did it go? That's what I have my pokey tool for. I am going to set this in place. And this is the first one that gave me a hard time. The rest of them just fell right in there perfectly. There we go. We have that piece back in there. And then these other two letters go on there. And I think you guys get the idea, right? So this is a lot easier than what I did when I made my hello card. You're just gonna die cut your letters right out of the front of your card. It's always nice to learn easier ways to do things. I'm all about that, right? And <laughs> you guys, wasn't that simple? Look at how cool that looks. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay. Here's my card. And then here's what I did to the inside. I used the leaf in Old Olive that comes with the Painted Harvest set. And I have a lot of area here to write. I am thankful for you. You could give this to just about anybody because there's a lot of people I'm thankful for in my life. And then don't forget to stamp up your gorgeous envelope. By the way, I use very vanilla as my card base. Don't forget to stamp up your envelope because who doesn't want to get that in their mailbox? And then I want to tell you about this. So let me clean up my little mess here because I had somebody leave a comment one time saying they liked how nice and neat my area was that I stamped in. <laughs> So now I feel the pressure, right? Okay, so here's our card in our envelope. This is my Eclipse Technique instruction card. And I have a VIP club. Well, I have a in-person Technique Tuesday club that I do every month. And this was our project. We did the Eclipse Technique. They get this card with the instructions typed on it. And then we do a sample of whatever the technique is to put on the card. So after a while, they're going to end up with a whole pack of these instructions which they can put some a ring in it and have just a whole pack on a ring or they can put it in a little binder or whatever they're going to do. This also is something that I give to my online VIP club members. Now what the heck is that? To be in the VIP club you have to let me know first of all. So you're going to pop me an email or contact me somehow and say Kelly I want to be in your VIP club. And then you place a minimum $25 order before tax and shipping each month for six months. And those are six consecutive months using the hostess code. Then at the end of the six months, 
you will get to choose $30 in free merchandise from me for being in the VIP club. Plus, I mail you the card and the instruction sheet with the technique on it. I will have a link underneath my YouTube video that will take you right to all the details from my online VIP club. If you're going to be ordering stamping supplies, why not get something like this where you'll really benefit from it? So just pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and let me know that you'd like to join the VIP club. All the details are on my in my link that I'll leave under the YouTube video. If you go to YouTube and look under the video, it says see more. Click on that and it'll open up all the links so you can go find all the details for this. It's a really fun program. Okay, so let me show you some of these technique cards. We've got the basket weave folding technique, a faux tile technique, northern lights, faux watercolor, bokeh. I think that's how you say that technique. I know how to do it. I don't know how to say it. Another faux watercolor technique, a spritzer reinker technique, double embossing, bleach, marker thumping, shaving cream, one of my favorites, stenciling with framelits. Here was a brayering technique. Isn't that beautiful? This was one of my favorites too. A magic water stamping, doodling technique, softly falling snow technique, another watercolor technique, faux patina direct to paper, embossed vellum, dyeing ribbon, and color blocking. So these are just some of the techniques. These are not all of them that I've done with my Technique Tuesday group. Thanks for watching my video today. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email, again, at kelly at stampabove.com. I'd be happy to send you our current catalogs. They are amazing. I'm wishing you guys a wonderful weekend. Enjoy. Bye-bye.